mean, we have won for decades the first report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has been published in 1990, and in principle, everything has been written there. And I mean, it's a very simple physical principle that as the the Earth warms, uh, the atmosphere can hold more water vapor, and uh, this is latent energy, as we say. And so if uh, uh, rainy weather, if severe weather is expected, okay, then the extreme rainfall can even become more extreme. And this is what we are seeing here. And so all we can say is that climate change is with us. It's not in the future. It's right there, not only in Germany, not only in Belgium, not in Europe, worldwide. With us right here, you say, Mojib. I mean, essentially, you argue that we have reached our capacity when it comes to adapting. There's very little room uh, to manoeuvre once we're at this stage. Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, uh, we are always asked uh, how good our predictions are. And I keep saying uh, that there are, of course, uncertainties uh, with regard to the predictions and that climate models are not perfect. So there is a, a limit to predictability. But on the other hand, there is also a limit to adaptation. And this is what we are seeing right now if rainfall uh, is too strong, uh, uh, people can't really adapt anymore, and then things like what we are now observing in Western Germany are happening, and we can't really do anything about it. I mean, if we think back to the summer of 2019, many of us will remember, you know, extreme temperatures, very, very dry condition. How do we explain this shift then from such intense heat to, you know, flooding that the country hasn't seen in, in decades now? Yeah, I mean, uh, these are the two sides uh, of one coin, and this coin is global warming. So uh, my first book that I wrote in 2003 uh, is entitled uh, Record Flood and Heat Waves. Okay, and, and uh, so our models predict exactly this. Uh, it may be that in one year we have uh, extremely warm conditions. We had an all-time high uh, in 2019, the highest temperature that has been ever measured in Germany at 41.2 degrees. But on the other hand, uh, we had so much record-breaking floods uh, in the last uh, decades during this century, although these kinds of floods should occur only once a century, okay? And so once again, uh, we are facing more extreme weather and uh, it will become even more severe in the future as global warming continues. I just want to get your thoughts on one thing. The German Chancellor today has, has uh, you know, spoken from Washington, which is relatively rare, and said, look, we are, you know, 100% behind the, the, the victims of this. We'll stand by them. When it comes to uh, politics, do you think enough is being, being done? Are declarations after the fact, for example, this extreme flooding, enough? Or do we need to be taking more precautions far sooner? Well, the big problem is that climate change is a global problem. And so all countries uh, need to act. Just one example. So China, for instance, uh, contributes about one third to the global CO2 emissions. The United States, another 15 percent or, or so. And um, uh, if we look at the global CO2 emissions and CO2 carbon dioxide is, is the main gas uh, 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 with respect to global warming, then since 1990, I mean, since uh, the first report of the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and since uh, the topic is uh, very high on the political agenda, uh, the CO2 emissions, the global CO2 emissions, uh, have increased by 60%, 60 percent, six zero. And so this shows that so far, at least, uh, uh, the world's nations haven't really taken climate change seriously.